Okay, in this exercise, we will create a LV grid OP with docking container. We copy program ZOP008 to ZOP009. We copy all the includes. And we set the name of new includes. And then we select all the includes and then we press button copy. We save as local objects. We activate the main program and also the includes. And we change from program ZOP008 to ZOP009. And then we save. We go to the top include. We change the type of reference of variable r underscore con from CLG custom container to CLG docking container. And then we save the program. And then we go to the screen 100. And then we go to display ALP PBO module. We delete the object creation of class CLG custom container and then we replace with object creation of class CLG docking container. We can see or check to the class CLG custom container to know how to fill the parameters of the constructor method. We search method constructor. And we take a look to the parameters. In this constructor, we will fill the parameter side and extension. We can use attribute doc at left. We see the level of the attribute is constant, so we can access like we access a static attribute. Okay, we go back to the program. We set the importing parameter side to doc at lab. The importing parameter extensions is for setting the width of container. We set to 5000. We modify the screen. We delete the custom container control from the screen. We do not need this control if we use docking container. We activate the program and there is no error. We run the program. And we fill the selection screen and then we execute. And there 
result now the LV grid width is the same as the screen width. Okay, we have done this exercise. Thanks.